Hello guys, this is Doppers at Work and welcome to the Android Custom Group Dot Pen from Source episodes. So in this episode, I would like to cover some of the basic things we missed in the episode one, and I want to give some suggestions for the further development of your custom ROM. So the first thing you have to say is uh, there is some defect on my guide I have made already. So that is not a major one. If you're good in the mathematics, you are done with it. So here, in this step, I have said to multiply you with this fraction, with this value. So this value is going to convert your megabyte value into the bytes. So it's not going to do that because we have a wrong in this. Uh, okay, let me show you. So the right value is this. So you can see there is a last six has been added right in the end. This is what should be the value but we have missed here the six so this is going to be wrong so guys please check it and uh, one more thing I have to say is that when you try to do a ROM using this guide complete ROM it is not possible guys because we need to construct a device to which gonna bring some stock files for your device so without having that you can't build a ROM which you can boot into your device so to do that if you are a noob, I mean, if you are a new for Android development, then you should search for a device having a build, a custom ROM built already in it, having the similar specs with your device. So then you are good to go. By seeing that device, you can build your own. So I'm going to show you in the next episode, I mean further episodes, how to do that. So for now, so I'm let me show you my device right now. It's just for only building a custom recovery which can boot your device. So it's not going to boot any TWRP because I haven't any TWRP configurations in this because I want to convert I want to build a device of Cyanogen mod. So if you're going to build a more ROM then you should delete everything that gonna used for a custom recovery rather than a CWM or a Cyanogen mod which comes in the stock right in this source so and the further things you have to go ok hold on a sec ok Okay, one more thing guys and when you are going to the fast tab have missed I think I have missed this in my tutorial right like this when you extract your boot image or recovery image these are strongly I mean get into your devices but you can't use this directly sometimes they're gonna throw errors on your from what you're going to build so you need to go through I mean when you're getting through the recovery image you should get this fast up dot SCX15 it's the uh, like it should it should be so SX15 is my number of uh, the motherboard so it should be like this so when you open this this is going to be some similarities okay here we go so you can see this hashtag includes the these are the comments there is nothing more minded okay so here is the source I mean this is the data where it should mount and the mount points what it going to mount and the type of the mount it going to mount and some flags and options but in here so it's are some it's gonna hard to recognize them in here and these are everything are unnecessary for the custom ROMs but in here the custom ROM is going to get enough things from system user data catchy prod and we require for the device so you can go through it so just try to extract the boot data MG not directly to the custom ROM but try to extract it in the other directory and copy these files need so I'm gonna make another episode of this also but not right now I'm going to do the guide again 
so let's and here we go bo.config this is what you got okay in here so you need to place this resolution right here don't forget this because this plays an important role when you're building a recovery because sometimes recovery fails because of not having a perfect resolution so make sure you have these things and uh, so this nothing more to see and one more thing and okay when i made a guide i have explained you about adding some twrp things in that so don't get messed up so if you doesn't want to add this thing so it is recommended so i'm gonna remove this pixel format it is just an optional one so but for now i'm gonna remove it so what i'm gonna do is just add an hash before it so you can see turned completely to red that will be based on your editor what i'm gonna call it is. so when you add hash before a complete statement it's gonna turn into a comment so that will be ignored by the compiler when you are building a rom so that you are saved without deleting all the file so this is going to help you so if you are not building a twrp things in your sanogen mod source then put a hashtag to them and build your rom easily so that's the things and is there anything more so i'm going to close this we should do that and what's the okay let's go through this so i'm showing you this files because i have changed some of things in here so i'll just show you what i have changed so so these are the common things you have already noticed and so these are the additional default properties i have added that's it okay so now i am trying to compile the rom using these settings because uh, it's gonna take a long to build the complete uh, rom at one time it for my system configuration it's taking approximately from nine hours so when i'm going to sleep i'm gonna put it to the compilation and go into sleep and when i get after nine hours back to my system is going to be done so it's going to help you to do that so before getting the device three configurations everything i make you to build start building so i'm going to show you how to do that first so i think it's all better mm -hmm. so first we need to let's get back okay so first type the directory name so directory name will be the Sanogen source directory so in my case it's cm11 so i'm going to show you where is the cm11 Sanogen mod directory so it's the Sanogen mod directory it's the directory we need to get so to get from we are in the home and we are getting into the Sanogen mod 11 source this is the source directory which i am in right now so it's cm11 named so in here first type dot space build slash i mean photo slash env setup dot sh so now and press enter it's gonna get all informations of the devices or the things which are in the source so you can see the first thing included about the device silicon that's the device we need to access right now so wait for it so I have uh, explained you about the recovery but for building a ROM you need to follow some st commands to be changed so now this is up to the same for every everything and now we have to grow go for break fast and the device CM we're gonna build this energy mode and the device code name three. okay so you can see in the case of building a recovery we used a launch command right here and the device name so i have using user debug because it's a most uh, used for the beta versions we does not know how it's gonna be while building the rom it may not be stable so when you say user debug thing 
it's gonna help you to make uh, your uh, some little more stable and get rid of errors so and now the press center so what it's gonna do is just add your device configurations into the on I mean into the device so when you go into the compilation of the RAM it's gonna help you it's gonna make to get the device configurations into that and build the ROM so it's gonna add you can see it now how it's gonna be okay you can see the platform okay platform version code name okay you can here you go so you can just see a version has been added to uh, the base device named and everything has been loaded based on the device configurations so everything is loaded in here now what we're gonna do is press a arrow so it's gonna bring the previous command what we have used in here so get back to here and change it to branch so which the command this command is used to build a ROM so it's gonna build everything output so I think I have already done it so we're gonna go to out and the target and the product right here and your device code name and here you can see so we have got every file every file in here and they are ready to be done so I haven't tried anything yet I haven't tried a recovery image it worked perfectly so next I have go for I should go for building the system so okay let's bless I'm gonna do this every time when you're trying to build I mean when you change some trainings you need to go through this command so that it's gonna get back every part of configurations what you loaded in here so device to your window tree whatever it is so it's gonna load it in here and bring it to the live thing so and after then you have to apply this command to build the ROM using that settings so for the first time it's gonna take more than 9 hours but and the second time it's gonna take only less than 15 minutes or around that because every file has been loaded into the source required for the device so you're ready to go so that's it for this episode guys in the next episode i'm gonna m help you in building your own device tree so i'm on that work right now and one more thing i have building my day own website so don't worry this guide will be av available in my website soon guys i'm gonna exchange i mean i'm gonna change every error in this guide and make it clean so thanks for watching